I'm Hayden, and this is my husband, Aaron. And we're on a mission to visit every country in the world. We just made it to Panama. Welcome Welcome to to Panama. Panama! Our last country in Central America. And there's no way you can come here without visiting the famous Panama Canal. Come along today as we take you through a partial transit of this impressive feat of engineering. Good morning from the Panama Canal. (laughs) Today we are getting on this giant ship behind us and we're heading through one of the largest and most impressive man-made features in the world. Right? Panama Canal. (laughs) It's up there, definitely, for sure. It's on one of the seven wonders of the, like, man-made world list. (laughs) I don't know if that's a real thing. (laughs) I'm pretty stoked for this. I've been looking forward to this since I was a kid. I don't know why, but stuff like this, once I latch onto it as a child, I'm like, one day I'm going to do it. Today is not day. Today is the day. So we're going to get on this boat. I think we're going about halfway through, so we're going to give you some fun facts. We're going to show you how the locks fill and unfill and how we get through. So let's let's do it. Let's get in. So we finally made it. We're actually about to enter the locks now, but we have to enter with other boats because it's so expensive to cross that these kind of huge container ships take on the cost for some of these smaller tour boats and other like sailboats and catamarans to come through here. So not quite sure how the positioning is going to look. Hopefully we get some really cool shots of the locks filling up because that's what I'm most excited to see. So if you noticed the first time I talked to you, me 
numbers were above my head and now we're looking down at them so again it goes pretty quickly through here but it says it takes about eight to ten hours to traverse the entire Panama Canal so they're constantly hitting these locks filling up draining them filling up draining them boats are going back and forth it's this is kind of a wild situation and just a crazy act of capitalism and commerce that requires a uh, system like this. Five of this 
boat ride and I think about two and a half hours into it, I think we got a little over it. <laughs> It's just a little bit too long. Like after the first transit, you go through two of the locks and we were like, okay, we did it, we're, we're good. So I'm hoping we're about to get off. Pretty sure we're done here. Um, definitely worth the trip, but you know, five hours is, is a long day. We started at about seven. 7.30 we left. So um, we're gonna go into Casco Viejo, which is like the downtown, um, like old town of Panama City, and we're gonna look for some food and maybe like a rooftop bar, because that's like one of the main things to do here in Panama City. So, ready for a drink at this point. They should have had, if they had beers on this boat, I think I wouldn't be as over it, so. And just like that, we are back on land, and now it's time to get on a bus and travel all the way back to where we started. check <laughs> I slept the whole time then we got into an uber and we're heading to get some lunch slash dinner and we're just going to a loving hut and <laughs> I generally don't like to support the supreme master cult of this place but it's been a long time since we've been to one and most of the all vegan restaurants are closed today so <sighs> so I need some food because I'm friggin starving I got fried rice, which smells amazing, and I got like a seitan and broccoli dish, which they were usually only $5, and they're huge, so it's definitely a very cheap meal, which is exciting. Fake meat's good. I just got like a seitan, like a gluten one. Got nice flavor. A little chewy, but... And then I just got fried rice with like vegetables. Yeah. The food is very, you know, standard. It's nothing amazing to write home about, but... It's just nice that it's an option and and it's there. So we're getting back in an Uber, which by the way is legal here in Panama and super easy to use. And we're heading to a rooftop bar called Tantalo. but technically it doesn't open until four but she told us we could come up Subir. <laughs> we had a hard time understanding she kept saying Subir, and i was like i should know that word and it means to go up so we were allowed to come she's gonna bring us our cocktail eggs and um yeah it's a beautiful view of the city i mean that's why people come here <laughs> we ordered some that Cocktails, and we have this beautiful view of the city behind us and we're in the old town so you can see some of these like church spires which are pretty neat. Um, I got a maracuya mojito. It's pretty good. Pretty tasty. Mint's not that fresh but that's alright. It's okay. So I'm just gonna have um, a couple of cocktails and sit here and try not to lose my hat. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't exactly the rooftop vibe we were going for. So we're going to do a little rooftop hopping. And we're heading next to something called Casa... Costco. Casa, Casa Costco. Costco. <laughs> going to the club, club, club. Mm. The coolest thing about this place is they actually checked our vaccination records, which I'm all for. I just want to have a good time, I want to be safe, and Panama actually now requires you to have a triple stamp on your uh, vaccine card, so you have to have booster just to even come here. First of all, this place is way better than Tantalo, and all of the um, research that I did, that one kept coming up as like the number one place to go. 
complete lies. Maybe at night, I don't know, but it just wasn't like very nice. And this is like nice seating and nice stools and it's just like way classier. Um, so we ordered some drinks. We got fancy drinks. I got a shot. It's like some kind of kiwi something. But um, there's the national drink of Panama or the liquor is called Seco and it's usually it's like a sugar cane type based drink so I got a cocktail with Seco in it. Let's try that first. Actually, I'm gonna take the shot first. Bottoms up. Didn't even want to let me try that. Well, that was delicious. Oh, did you want some of that? Apparently not. <laughs> I wasn't trying to share it. But I'm gonna have this beautiful cocktail. Prosecco. It kind of gives me like a pina colada vibe, but I don't know like what the alcohol itself tastes like, but it's very delicious. It's fruity. Well, let me try it again. I think I got just straight alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Traveler, which is a gin and tonic, and it has rosemary and some frutas rojas, basically strawberries. Ooh. Eat some rosemary there. Um, that's not liquid Christmas tree. That's really delicious. It's got a nice sweetness to it. The fruit really comes through, and it's just kind of crisp and airy and light. Kind of not any like any gin and tonic I've ever had. It's really delicious. 